doesn't it? <laughs> Deb Russos is here from Group, Group Health Cooperative taking your diet questions. And we got some new news. Eat an apple a day. Yeah, it kind of comes down to that. What we're looking at is the, uh, the white flesh fruit, pears, apples, and also vegetables, cauliflower, bananas would be another one. Those all have some relationship with preventing strokes. And you know, you always hear us say, eat color, look at your plate, get mm -hmm. for all this color. And then we kind of think, hey, what about those white guys? So we can eat those and they're just as healthy. So what is it in them that helps prevent a stroke? Well, I'm not sure I know that oh, part okay. yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably some phytochemical or mm -hmm. plant chemical that's protective. So that in addition, we always... Yeah, of course, it just means variety. Right. Keep those white ones in there too, but keep going for the colorful ones. And we always say the darker, the better. But now, in this case, yeah, eat those light ones too. All right, and time of the year when apples are coming into season. Yum, yum. I like the fresh ones, you know, like in February and March, that's so good. But anyway, all right, we are waiting for some calls. And while we do. <laughs> oh, we are. Well, then we'll have to just chat a little more. Huh? We will. Well, I was uh, talking to you, and, and I don't know if folks at home know, but I had kidney stones, and now I'm on a lower salt diet. And that's tough to do. Salt's in everything. It certainly is. I was just working with a woman that had a 1,200 milligram restriction. Yours is 2,000 milligrams. It makes it slightly easier, but mm -hmm. just eating a meal out was her whole day. Right. You know, and so a lot of times uh, she walked into a, a chain family restaurant and they hand, she said low sodium. They handed her a list of those items that were lower. Mm -hmm. They're not really going to help her out that much, but she would just eat half and that would reduce her sodium. So there are a lot of little things you can do. Mainly fresh helps a lot. Yeah. They, she said if it was touched by a human being, there's salt in it. <laughs> Let's go to the phones, and we'll start with Mary in Madison. Hi, Mary. Hi. Um, I have a question about uh, improving my HDL numbers. Mm -hmm. I got a phone call from my doc this morning, and everything else is normal, but my HDL is 41, and they said it should be 49 or higher. So what can I do? Okay, Mary, you're going to get out there and take some walks because exercise can do it. HDLs are? HDL is a healthy cholesterol, and this is the one that clears the bad cholesterol out of the body, back to the liver to get rid of it. So one thing that you may want to look at is what's your ra relationship between your HDL and your cholesterol? In other words, divide the HDL into the cholesterol, and if you have a number that's four and a half or less, that's very healthy. That gives you a good balance between the two. The HDL can't work if it has a higher ratio than that. So a lot of times people have low cholesterol, but then they also have low HDL, but their ratio looks good. So take a look at your ratio. Thanks for reminding me to review that. So then the other thing that we're looking at is also um, eating healthy fats. So eating a few nuts, avocado, using olive oil, canola oil, peanut butter, those sorts of things in moderation can make a big difference. Not eating too much sugar will make a difference. Cutting out trans fats, that's another thing that would make your HDL bottom out. And if you have a body type like mine where you carry your weight in the middle, you probably are going to have a lower HDL and be more prone to having diabetes. Those things tend to go together. Okay, eat healthy, yeah. exercise. How often do we have to say it? There's your summary. <laughs> <laughs> right. Carrie and Wanaki. Hi, Carrie, what's your question? My question is, I... Um I've just been maintaining a certain weight for quite a few years. Uh, my youngest daughter is four, and I have basically been. Whoop, I think we Did lost we her. Did we just lose her? Well, she can't lose well, weight. Well, I, I think guess I can still go along with the question because, of course, this is what I deal with every day. Most people say I can't lose weight. One of the things that happens is they can't lose weight fast enough. So they try something for a week or 10 days, and then they didn't lose weight, and it's not working. So I think the deal is to go longer. Exercise tends to make a big difference. But you may want to approach your physician about having a vitamin D test, and coming back with a normal vitamin D may make it easier for you to change your weight. Just gradual. Yeah, gradual go really loss. gradual. If you could lose one or two pounds a month, that wouldn't be rocking the boat a lot. You could probably stick with that for a very long time mm -hmm. and see your weight gradually go down. And you're young if you have a four-year-old. You have time to do that. All right. Speaking of time, we are out of time. So if you're on the line, stay there. <laughs> Deb will take your call off the air. 